Hello, this is a brief connector assembly instruction video for the M12 Binder shielded connector with shielding ring. The first step in the process is to cut back the sheath on the cable about 35 millimeters, like so. The next step is to pull back the shielding. Now depending on the type of cable you're using, you're either going to have a braided shield only or uh, this particular cable has a braided shield and a foil. Um, so if you've got both, I usually just trim back the foil. So that's what I'm going to do here. And you can remove it. Like so. Now there's a plastic cover on here. You can also remove that. Now the next step is to trim back the individual conductors uh, four millimeters from the end. And the next step is to use just use some tape to um, tape down the shielding. Uh, this just prevents any strays from coming up when you are putting the um, connector components over top. The next step is to install all the hardware. So first we'll start with the coupling nut. Gripper assembly. Grommet. Shielding ring. Main body of the housing. And then just push all that out of the way. The next step is to connect the individual conductors to the connector hub. Uh, for Ethernet IP, pin 1 is white green, pin 2 is white orange, pin 3 is green, and pin 4 is orange. So the next step is to assemble all the hardware. So first we'll pull the connector body up, screw it together, Take this end down as tight as you possibly can, remove the tape. So, and then what I like to do is unbraid the shielding, like such. And spread the shielding out much as you can. The idea is to get as much surface area on the connector covered by the shielding. So then what I'll do is just kind of push this in just a little bit like that. And then I will bring the shielding ring in. And the idea is that the shielding ring will hold the shielding in place. So next step is to actually just take scissors when you're done, it should look something like this. You can see that the ring is firmly inserted into the housing. Next step is to take the grommet, put it into the gripper assembly, place it like so, and then tighten on the coupling nut. We don't want to over tighten it, we don't want to crush the cable. It should look something like that when you're done. And there you go, fully assembled.